Chinese stocks are on the move and in a big way. We saw yesterday Alibaba up 30%, Pindodo up 54% in value. There's massive, massive incline. So how do you play it? What moves should be making? What companies should you be looking at? And how should you be assessing the situation to make the most money possible? To profit consistently from this massive run that's that's on the way right now. Well, the name that comes to mind, the name that comes to my head, first of all, as the probably the most advantageous Chinese opportunity right now, I think you all know. I think you know my affection for the company. I think you know which company I'm talking about. And the company I'm talking about is Tencent. A top Top quality business trading at a massive discount to its intrinsic value. The stock today is down 7.17%. And of course, you know, it's still up from that low. It was trading around $39. I still can't believe that. A few days ago, trading at $39, the stock is up 26% over the past two days. Even after the 7% decline. Massive, massive uptick. And yet, if you've been an investor in Tencent over the past year, you're still not very happy. Because you're down around 39.79%. So, with such a massive discount, with such a massive decline, let's talk about it. Let's have a look at this company. Let's start thinking, why is this probably the single most advantageous buy you can make? Because I believe it is right now. And I think in a market that's been so depressed, that's been so unreasonable in its selling of companies like this, Tencent stands to be one of the single biggest beneficiaries from the subject we're seeing. So let's talk about it. Financial strength of this company, there's no question. You know, your cash to debt ratio is a little lower than one to one, which some investors may freak out about. They may say, well, not enough cash on hand relative to the debt. You know, it's not enough to, to constitute investing. Well, what you're missing is the free cash flow. The massive amounts of free cash flow coming from their gaming business, from their ad business, from their core investment portfolio. The cash flow this company generates, it's unworldly. So on a financial strength basis, by virtue of those cash flows, this company is exceptionally strong. And also an Altman score of 4.24. An immense degree of safety with the business. So you have an immense degree of safety, consistent cash flows, a healthy amount of cash on hand, albeit less than one to one. Financial strength basis, this company is top class. Top, top class. And you might you may say, what about profitability? You know, Lockheed, it's a financially strong company. What about the profitability of Tencent? Well, the net margins are 34.37%. That's higher than Facebook. That's better profitability than Google. That profitability is almost as good as some world-class company like Microsoft. Top, top-class profitability, a lot of money coming in, and for every dollar of revenue that comes into their business, they retain 34.37% as that pure, pure profit. Very profitable. Returns on equity, returns on assets, also healthy. This is a top top quality company. And this is why I think it's the play to be made. It's not just about the financial strength and the profitability here, because that's obvious, that's there, we know it's there. But what we often miss with Tencent is the fact that this is one of the single monopolies in China. Think about WeChat. Is there anything else quite like WeChat? I don't think so. And as long as that stands, as long as Tencent owns the super app in China, then I think there's really any competition. Now, you may be nervous about buying a, an over-the-counter type stock, an ADR of sorts. Well, if you're nervous about that, then buy on the Hong Kong exchange. Buy on the Hong Kong exchange, just buy the stock directly, then you don't have any delisting fares. I think delisting fares have actually subsided a bit over the past two days, and that's why we've seen this massive uptick. You know, such a profitable company, so financially strong, and even the valuation, PE ratio of 17.12. That PE, the PE that low, is pricing and growth of only around 5 to 10% over the next decade. Think about the industries in which this company operates. Think about the gaming business. Think about the core WeChat service. Think about all these different advertising businesses they have going on combined with a world-class investment portfolio. And I think you begin to realize that a PE of only 17.12, you know, to say it's a little low is a it's an understatement. Consistent cash to deliver time, consistent revenue and net income growth. This is a world-class company and it's been beat down not because of financial underperformance. It's been beat down because of a change in sentiment. Because people got fearful. Because people saw it down so low and they say, well, you know, we've got to 
Got to back away from this. Regulators swarming around it. Negative factors in play. Well, you, that's not how you invest. If you're a value investor, if you're a long-term investor, you can't be playing that type of game where you wait until the chaos has subsided. You've got to get in there when the chaos is there. If you had got in when the chaos was there, when things were negative, when things were falling apart in the marketplace, when things were falling down rapidly, well, look at the upside you've got. Look at what would have happened. Peak chaos, it's running at 38 bucks. 38 bucks. And I was saying, I made a video when I was trading at 30 bucks, saying, saying, this is a buy. This is a wonderful buy. And if you bought it, well, then you're up 27.86% in the space of two, two days. Not two years for a 30% return. Two days for a 30% return. Buy the fear. Buy the concern from investors. That is the ultimate investing strategy. Buy when things are going wrong. And that's how you profit. And you know, all the strengths is there, all the fundamentals are there, but let's get more in depth with that valuation. Let's actually have a tangible look at how much this thing may be worth. Because although we know it's cheap, we know it's undervalued right now, let's have a look at a real valuation. Let's run a DCF because you know it was trading cheap when it was 38 bucks, but is it still cheap? Lucky the stock went up 30% in a single day. Is it still undervalued? How is that possible? Let me show you. Coming down here, we look at the growth rates for Tencent over the past decade. A 10-year growth rate of 33.2%, 5-year growth rate of 36.2%, and a 1-year growth rate of 66.8%. So growth has been not only outstandingly high, but also outstandingly consistent. A world-class company compounding rapidly over time. And what if we got conservative with our growth estimates? What if we priced in, let's say, only 8% growth over the next decade, which is nothing compared to the growth they've exhibited over the past 10 years, a 33.2% growth rate. What price target does that bring us out to? Well, it brings us out to a price target of 54 bucks and 61 cents. So with the most conservative of growth assumptions, with growth assumptions in line or just above inflation right now, the company's still undervalued. Still undervalued by about 10 to 11%. So you may say, what if we get more reasonable with this? What if we start pricing in reasonable growth going forward? I'm talking growth, not outstanding, not outrageous, just fairly healthy growth, healthy, healthy growth of 15% over the next decade. Well, then your price target, ladies and gentlemen, mostly gentlemen watching the videos, I think, is a fair value price target of $89.17. Current trading price of 48 bucks. Well, you know, you're almost doubling your money. But 15% growth does appear to me to be fairly conservative. It appears to be fairly low relative to what this company has achieved in the past. And also with the favorable secular trends around the business, what it could achieve going forward. So what if we got a little bit more, a little bit more bullish? A little more bullish with our valuation. What if we priced in 20% growth? And bear with me here. I know some of you may say that growth rate is too high. You know, they keep compounding at 20%. The revenues will be some ridiculous number, and that's very much the case. It may be the case. But humor me here. Let's say they continue to execute on their business. Let's say WeChat maintains, WeChat maintains its monopoly. Let's price in 20% growth. Our current price target with 20% growth is $126.57. 20% growth may seem unreasonable on a company like Alibaba because there are so many competitors. Pindodo, JD.com, all these companies coming out of the woodwork competing with Alibaba. Well, with Tencent, is anyone really competing? Is anyone really degrading their monopoly by any meaningful degree? Pindodo relies on WeChat. These companies that are coming up to compete with Alibaba are almost all invested in by Tencent. I think it's obvious that this company is the single most dominant Chinese company. Not only in a technological sense, but also in a business sense. The depth of their economic moat. How strong, financially strong profitability-wise, economic characteristics that this company possesses position it extremely well. And so if we price in 20% growth, our price target is $126.57 relative to the current trading price of around 48 bucks. 
you know, it's obvious. More upside than you can possibly imagine. Massively, massively undervalued. So when people ask me, how are you playing this, this Chinese comeback? How are you playing this renaissance of sorts in the Chinese market? Well, if I had to give you a pick, if I had to pick a company that's going to succeed not only in this rebound, but also over the next 10, 15, 20, 30, even 50 years, you know it's Tencent. The profitability is there. The financial strength is there. Everything I look for in a company is there. And now, with these regulatory pressures subsiding, with the runway for growth opening up again, with China growing again, you know, I think Tencent is the bet. What's cheaper between Facebook and Tencent? People often ask me that. What do I think is the cheapest stock right now? Well, I'd say they're both very cheap. I'd say they're both advantageous buys, but Tencent, that's a true monopoly. Very, very powerful, financially stable, entrenched, strong business. There's no stopping this beast. And now with regulators stepping aside, it's only going to keep compounding. It's only going to keep growing. And this, this is an advantageous long-term bet. So if you call yourself a value investor, if you call yourself a long-term growth investor, someone who's focused on building their wealth over time, then this, I think, could be a fairly advantageous long-term bet. Now, I hope this video has, has taught you something more about Tencent, my thoughts on the company, how I'm playing this massive Chinese rebound that's happening right now, the rally that's coming to the marketplace. You know, if you enjoyed this video, then please drop us a like down below, hit subscribe if you haven't already, turn that subscribe button from red to gray. Very satisfying, I've heard. Please give it a try. But until then, thank you. I'll see you in the next one.